You're back, Al. Good for you. And you're out in the water where you need to be. What are you doing now, Al? You're going in circles. Look out. OK, Al, you've got another chance. Pay attention. Uh, get your board pointing in the right direction. Al, look out. That's the spirit, Al. Back on the board again. And you are finally facing the right direction. Aha! You did it! You caught the wave. Al, you're surfing. We're proud of you, Al. Al, be careful. Watch what you're doing. Al, oh! Sorry, Al. If we compare life in the church to surfing, it is not enough to just be out in the water. We have to be working with the wave. So too in the church. It is not enough to say God is active in the church. We need to be sure that we are working with God. We can probably all think of times when work in the church was really difficult, exhausting, like swimming against a powerful wave. We may have made up our minds which direction we wanted to go and not been as attentive to what God was doing. These attempts at ministry can be frustrating. Then there have been times when ministry seemed so easy. It just flowed. We didn't always understand why we were successful. We just were. Looking back, we can now see that we were working with the wave. In the past few years, we might think of several examples of catching the wave. Water's Edge is definitely a wave from God. It is not our doing. We simply joined God. Wednesday worship has gone from 30 to 180. Bible classes for children, youth, and adults have seen a similar growth. It's all a powerful wave from God. Earlier this year, we purchased two lots adjacent to our church. It's a complicated story. We did not start this process thinking that we would buy either of these right now. But as it turned out, these were the lots we really needed. God opened doors. Things happened. It was another wave from God that we simply joined. Last spring, we experimented with our Sunday school in worship for half of the time. We thought this might be a wave, but as we watched, we learned a lot and decided that this was not a wave. That too was part of this process, learning what is and what is not a wave. As we make plans for our future, we begin to look for that big wave that will help us define the future of our entire ministry. That's what we're doing tonight, catching the wave of God's dreams.